Hey Tabletop Gamers, this is Jonathan with another No Frills Unboxing. Specifically, Dungeon Crate. Uh, I'm a little late, I know. Life's gotten pretty busy, uh, but here we are. Uh, some personal announcements. I'm heading to Gen Con in August. Hope to see you there. This is my first year. I'm going to be running several Monty Cook games, so if you have any interest in those, come by the booth and see if I'm there. I'll be there Friday afternoon, uh, but I'll also be GMing some games in the evenings. Uh, for Numenera and, this, and No Thank You Evil, but the demo games are all sorts of different ones. So if you have any interest, come by, see me, I'd love to meet you, um, and uh, if you have any advice for Gen Con first-timers, let me know. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. So, let's get this on the road. This is Dungeon Crate, and um, excited about this box. So, without further ado, we'll open it up. Um, and let's see if we can. They usually have a supply card, which I'm going to find first so that I'm not lost. All right, so this month is Home Interior Edition, uh, which seems pretty cool. Sounds pretty cool. Looks like there'll be some um, figs and statues and maybe things in there to go along with uh, the, this month's box. For it's uh, all about high adventure furnishings. <laughs> they have procured a few items that will add some style and adventure to your castle or dungeon. Sweet. So we're looking at items uh, for interior design. So those of you who are into that. So this over here, and I'll reference that as we go. So first we got this nondescript box. And let's just see what it is. It is something from Night Watch. Uh, games. Um, let's find it here. This is a royal throne. Feeling important? This hand cast and hand painted throne adds a regal look to any room. Uh, so this doesn't look hand painted, um, but it still looks pretty sweet. Um, it's a matte gray. Uh, got a little throne there the arches over the back. Uh, no designs on the back or the bottom, um, but you could easily, you know, say something's hidden underneath this throne. Um, it's clean angles, gentle arcs, and it's comfy seat. Yeah, I'm sure that's... <laughs> uh, offer a medieval style and comfort that's ideal for most any uh, race claiming power. So that's cool. It's nice and sharp looking. Um, it says it's hand painted. Um, does not look hand painted to me. So perhaps we are supposed to hand paint it ourselves. Uh, but we got the Night's Watch throne. Um, excited to use that. Very cool. Alright, let's bring that back out. Get rid of this packaging. Uh, and you can't go wrong with a set of two random dice from Chessex. Keep your dice bag full by adding two random dice. So I got these colors of dice. Um, looks like a P4, D10. Um, you can never have enough random dice to roll either for your players or for yourself. Um, I'll go in my, my dice bag. Thanks, Chessex. Alright, we've got Dark Haven Legends. Let's see. Um, Reaper uh, Reaper Mini. Uh, Magic Treasures 3. Dress up your dungeon with ancient scrolls, magical tomes, <clears throat> and other mysterious treasures. A five piece set lets you add incentive for your adventures to explore and plunder. Uh, so, looks like there's a DS with, DS with a dragon on it and some other neat things in there. That's cool table in there. So a nice set from Reaper again, themed with the interior. Nice job. That'll be fun. Now, personally, I don't like painting. Um, that's just my own thing. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Uh, but I've got a, a guy in my group who is excellent at painting, so he'll love doing those. Uh, another coin, uh, the King Conan uh, Aquili Aquilonian Equilonian, there we go. Uh, five piece uh, coin from Shire Post Mint. 
Uh, if you've been following along or if you get boxes, you know that we get one of these in every box. And these are really cool, um, just little trinkets to either decorate your, your playing room with, uh, to hand out as adventure hooks, um, or just to, just to do a 50-50 chance with some um, with something other than a dice. Um, so this is from King, Co King Conan after he takes, uh, takes the throne. So pretty cool. I got those set up on my bookshelf. Um, just uh, waiting to be had. All right, so here we have a Griffin Fountain from Advanced Deployment. Now they have had some nice stuff from Advanced Deployment. Um, and this is the, a Griffin uh, Fountain. Um, so you gotta, gotta have to glue it together. It's made with laser cut uh, MDF. It's a fountain that will dress up any courtyard. Uh, you gotta assemble the pieces, add a touch of glue, uh, maybe even some paint so you can kind of design this as your own. Um, and I think uh, Dungeon Crate actually has a kind of a, not a how-to, but a here's what it could look like. So these rings uh, stack on top of each other. Uh, you got some some blue water there that sits on the bottom of the, and then you've got your griffin. Sorry, my lighting is awful here today. Um, with some wings. I'm not thinking griffin. There we go. Um, Uh, and a little stand that he goes in. Uh, so I guess you could put him in the middle or wherever you want it. There we go. So I'm going to move this so you can see that a little better. Sorry, my camera work is really shoddy. Um, so there you go. And cool Griffin. Fountain. I had some stuff to it. Awesome. Well done, guys. Um, so it feels like there's not as much uh, stuff in this box, uh, but don't let that fool you. Uh, I, you know, I think uh, that check out at the end of my video. It'll tell you the the MSRP for all these things. Um, you got a, a good solid throne. You got a good set of. Um, pieces to go, you got your shower post, you got a whole uh, tower, some dice. So it might not feel like, to me, there's as much, as many things in this box. Uh, I feel like there were some quality items. You know, the Griffin is top notch, it looks sharp, easy to put together, that's what I'm all about. Because um, I just don't have the dexterity <laughs> to, to do the painting and the fine gluing and necessarily the cutting. Uh, but you got the the Remy Reaper set. Now, if this was if this was just one fig, uh, I might have been a little disappointed. But because it's a whole set of five different things, that's pretty awesome. Um, this throne is uh, again, like I said, really nice. You get your uh, your normal DC sticker. Uh, they're promoting uh, DungeonCrawler.com. Some miniatures, <coughs> Behemoth Kickstarter, and then they got your normal Shire Post info sheet uh, about the shower post mint. Uh, so, good box. Uh, like I said, it, feel, it feels like it was um, less stuff than uh, other boxes, uh, but I feel like they're bigger ticket items. Um, so check out the end of this uh, the video, see what they're worth. MSRP is uh, be listed there, and uh, see you at Gen Con. Play more games. I don't know, looking forward to the next unboxing. Thanks guys.